Hey everyone, uh, I, I realize that I don't or I no longer have a video on converting from QBO to desktop because I figure that would be really rare <laughs> that, that people wouldn't want to do that. So, um, but I still wanted to do one just in case. I'm in IE 11 actually, and I know that QBO, in order to convert from QBO to desktop, it, you have to be an Internet Explorer because of ActiveX, right? And I don't know for how long ActiveX is going to be available with Windows and stuff, but at least for now, you're going to use Internet Explorer. If you try to do it in Firefox or Chrome, it'll tell you to, to if you need to export data out of QBO, you got to be in IE. I tried it in IE 10, kept crashing on me. Obviously, IE 8 and 9 are not supported, but IE 11 I upgraded to on my Windows system. Not saying that you'd have the same problem with IE 10, but IE 11 seems to be working. So I have two things that are required. I'm in Internet Explorer 10 or 11. I suggest 11. And also, I have QuickBooks installed on my computer, right? Because it's literally the conversion's going to, after I create the local copy, when I go through the conversion wizard, it's going to create a brand new QBW file. It's important to note here that you're not going to merge your QBO file with an existing QBW file, right, on the desktop. It's going to create uh, its own. Okay. But I mean, people would use this for, for different reasons. Uh, maybe you just want to use statement writer or something, right? You're doing some quarterly or, or period end reporting, right? You really need statement writer. Um, so you could just create a local copy, convert it to a desktop file in your accountant edition, and then, you know, use the data for statement writer. This is for when you're, you're not going back to QBO. Okay. Um, so it's, there's no talking really between desktop and QBO other than creating a QBO file or creating a QBW file. That's it. There's no merging or things like that. So I've already installed uh, desktop, I have ActiveX, and then I'm just going to go ahead and click continue at this point. And then step two is select your data. Again, step one is ActiveX, it's important. And then what you're going to do is when you, when you install ActiveX, you're going to be brought back to the home page of the QBO file, so you have to go to gear icon, export data again, right? So you're going to initiate the kind of the steps. So step two, I'm going to do all financial data, okay? And it says exporting can take up to 12 hours. I've never known it to go that far. Usually it's within an hour or something, sometimes even 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Now, I don't recall ever downloading the, the file, so I'm going to go ahead and click start over. But if you've already downloaded a local copy, because uh, that's what the QBO process uses to convert to a QBW file, I'm going to click start over. But you could click continue to download or something like that. Again, some, some important things to point out at this point. Uh, you're using recurring templates, they won't be exported. Just like when I come from desktop to QBO and the memorized transactions and reports don't come over, it's the same thing with recurring uh, transactions or custom reports. They're not going to go to the desktop. And customer credit card information will not be exported. Go ahead and click continue. And you go ahead and put in your name and the email address because uh, QBO is going to email you when the file is ready to be downloaded from the QuickBooks Online. From QuickBooks Online. And then click continue. And then once the data is ready, or that local copy is ready for me to download, I'm going to get an email, and I'll go ahead and download it. Uh, and then that is what I convert to a desktop file. So we'll see on the other side of that. I'm going to click close for now. So here's the email that I received, right? It tells me to log in, but all I did was refresh my QBO I have behind the email. I'll show you in a sec. Um, and then click the task or to-do item. Now, this is kind of the old language, right? Because in the old QBO, you had the task or to-do list. It'd be right there on that home page. You go over to the activities section on the home page here, and you see this to-do. It says take action, download the company file created on September 4, 2014, which is now. So literally, from when I stopped the video to resuming, it was about four minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and download the local copy now. It brings you back into kind of the conversion wizard from uh, QBO to desktop, and I can select the options. I'm just, you know, moving my data to QuickBooks Desktop Edition, and I click Continue. Remember, the local copy you can have, it's kind of like a fail-safe, uh, but there's no way to restore that, right? If people are thinking that the creating a local copy would be like a, a desktop backup, if you will, you could restore into QBO. Uh, so local copy, though, nice to have. I mean, that's what... I'm using the local copy to convert to desktop. Uh, that's what I downloaded, but um, you know, it's not nothing you can restore back into QBO, just so you know. So I'm moving my data to QuickBooks Desktop Edition. Click Continue Now. Continuing on with step four, please open QuickBooks Desktop now and close the company file that displays. So I have QuickBooks Account in 2014 open, and it's open to the No Company Open window. Right, and that's it's actually gonna it asked me to do that, so it's gonna create the file in there. I don't need to be in a file, you don't want to be in a file. And now I'm gonna click download uh, on step four, and it asked me to download the actual file, 
put it on the desktop. It's a QB XML file. Click save. That's really the local copy and it says, you know, it's downloading a company file here. So at this point, QBO knows that the QB XML file is there on my system. It's the local copy, if you will. Uh, and I'm going to click convert now. And again, open QuickBooks for Windows now and close the company file that automatically opens. So I have it open in the no company open window during the file conversion and I'll need to check QuickBooks for Windows and accept the security certificate because it's that kind of integrated app thing that would be in the preferences, right? So that's what I'm going to do. And, and I should see that. I remember seeing that before when I tried this years ago. So I'm going to go ahead and click convert now. So here I just got to save the QuickBooks file. It wants me to name it. So I'm going to do that right now. I'll just do an acronym. A-L-C-W-C. -C. And then I'm going to go ahead and just save it. Uh, in my QB test folder. Okay, here's the prompt I was talking about you should get in QuickBooks. So I'm just going to click yes and then click continue. And then you click done. Again, desktop is seen the app in IE11, which is QBO, right? Converting desktop to QBO as an integrated app. Okay, I click done. And then here's the conversion going along. I'm 16% complete, going towards 100, 100%. So it's working, it's converting. Ooh, 83% edge of seat suspense, no doubt. And then it'll say step five, check your reports in QuickBooks for Windows. Congratulations, you completed the process and needed to move your data to QuickBooks for Windows. I'm going to click finished here. And, the, and since this is actually a client file, I'm not going to actually show you guys any of the data. But yes, I did check the company financial, the profit and loss, the balance sheet, as well as the trial balance. Um, and it's all in there, et cetera. So uh, it worked, converted. Again, IE is critical. And hopefully this video helps you guys.